cheer up, Maxim. How can I cheer up? The business is bankrupt, and now we're gonna lose the family home. Ed's probably looking down and laughing at me. Or looking up, depending where he is now. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm glad you're finally admitting it, Maxim. It's not you! It's Mr. Hughes's fault! Dad, I'm sure we'll have customers again. Just like in those good old days when we were making money. I remember them like they were yesterday. People were drinking, then they had to think, why not take a drive so we can get our kicks? And as they were driving, they would end up dying, since we know that alcohol and cars don't mix. Yeah, it would be a real tragedy, but we would feel a grave. It was unhealthy, but we all were wealthy. No, we didn't care back in them good old days. The good old days, everyone was drunk. The good old days, and money we were broken. The good old days, but now we all are hoping that we will get back there to them good old days. Oh man, those were the days. Yeah, and now all those people are with Mr. Hughes. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, Uncle Quincy, do you have any stories about the old days? Of course I do. Those were some of the brightest days in history. Smiling, we got lots of clients from the victims that were killed before some ways. The obituaries, all the kind of scary people would get shower stabbed and we get paid. If we don't have a funeral soon, the parlor won't be saved. We just need a killing, then we could get billing. God, I really miss the simple good old days. The good old days, gosh, they were a blessing. The good old days, money was refreshing. The good old days, and now. God, we really miss the simple good old days. Those days were filled with bliss, and they are sorely missed. Yes, we can reminisce, but they're just memories. We must do something soon, or else we all will lose to that damn Mr. Hughes and the parlor's history. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. The parlor's history. Yes, it'll be gone. The parlor will be history. No, the parlor is history. What are you talking about? The parlor's been in this town for decades. It's like a, a historic monument. Maybe if we could get someone to say that our funeral home is a landmark for the town, the bank wouldn't be able to seize it. I don't know. What other options do we have? They think it's over cause we're in foreclosure, but us resilient humorals are not done yet. Take legal action, we'll make it an attraction. Yes, we'll make our house like a museum of death. I doubt that any of this could work, but it could be the only way. All right, it's decided. Now I'm all excited. Thank the Lord we thought about the good old days. The good old days. The business might be fading. The good old days. Try to be persuading. The good old days. The parlor will be saving by living off the glory of the good old days. Oh, the good old days. The good old days, too bad we are free of them. The good old days, we certainly need more of them. And hopefully we'll get back to the good old days. Cause we were living larger in the good old days. God, we really miss the simple good old days.